Hey, my name's Justin, and this is The Art of Repair. And today, we're going to talk about batteries, because man, is that a hot topic right now. We're going to go over a very simple, very cheap and effective way to find out, hey, is it time to replace this battery? Or even better yet, hey, is this battery that somebody sold me even any good? All right, everybody knows it's battery season. Ever since Apple decided to go ahead and let the cat out the bag and say, hey, you guys are right, batteries degrade over time, even though we already all knew that anyway, now the general populace knows. So that means we're doing tons and tons of battery replacements. I will say that I've never personally done this many at one time in my life. It's crazy. Every single day it seems like I'm running out of batteries. So with that being said, I know this isn't an isolated incident, and I know that there's people out there hungry for battery information. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to go over a little bit of basic battery testing just to just to get a look at it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, some information is better than no information. So we're going to go over that some basic information right now, okay? Uh, what I'm going to show you right now is how to use two different tools, okay? The first one being your regular multimeter, and the second one, please excuse the green screen here, being this little battery activation plate with all kinds of little battery connectors on it. You can see through it only because I have a green screen. It's not actually transparent, although that would be pretty cool. Um, first thing we're doing is we're gonna jump over here. We're gonna take a look at this multimeter setup. All right, so we've got our multimeter. We've got it set on voltage mode. You can see right here we're in voltage mode and we've got two batteries. One of them is a good battery and one of them is a bad battery. I'm gonna show you the difference with a multimeter, okay? Um, First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna check this battery right here. I believe this is a 4S battery. We're gonna go ahead and hook it in here and we're gonna take a look at the voltage. All right, we can see here a 3.9, up. Oh, we went down one. Usually I give it about 10 seconds just to kind of watch it a little bit. Up, oh, we went down again. That voltage drop is a very big key indicator here, okay? Every device has a operating voltage. Um, with mobile electronics, most of the time you're looking 37, 385, something like that. Um, and that voltage is the potential electrical difference in the battery. If the voltage keeps going down, it's not going to be able to provide enough energy for the device to be able to work very long at all. Okay, so we can see here just in this small time that I've talked that we've gone down quite a few points. That ladies and gentlemen might be a bad battery and I haven't really done anything okay now let's let's check this other one right next to it this is a 5s battery uh, I think we're backwards here I don't know yeah we're backwards on that one there we go 4.015 let's give it the same amount of time at least 10 seconds This one seems to be holding pretty steady, okay? All right, well, I think you get the point. So we're looking for voltage drop, a quick voltage drop, one without much load on it, okay? So that's, we're, we're just using the multimeter here. We're just checking in voltage mode, okay? And the whole time I've been talking here, this one hasn't moved a little bit at all. And this one next to it, I guarantee has probably gone down even more just from sitting here, okay? That's telling me, hey, Justin, you probably got a bad battery. And this is a test that you can do very quickly. I mean, you can pop somebody's phone open, boop, boop, watch it for a second, and you can say, hey, you, you probably have a bad battery, okay, instead of doing the, the guessing game, okay? All right, so now that we've done it with the multimeter, we're gonna move over and we're gonna check it with another tool, okay? And this one's actually cool because you can see the, the voltage drop happen as we're doing this, okay? so. We've got our little battery activation plate here. Seems like everybody's got the Kasai version. Seems like the, the general version that everybody's got everywhere. Um, but we are gonna be using another little tool here today. Um, this is the PowerZ uh, from Charging Lab. It is a power consumption analyzer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug it in. And what's gonna happen here is I'm gonna switch over to this, which has everything hooked up. Um, it is powered on its own through the actual data connection here. Um, it is pulling a little bit to power the device so it doesn't actually pull from this. Um, and we are gonna take a battery here and we're gonna plug it in. 
All right, we do have a little bit difference here. That's not really important right now. What's important is what we're gonna see visually, okay? So we've got the battery, we've got it plugged in and everything, we've got it hooked to the computer so we can see some real-time stats on it. These stats are gonna be a little higher resolution than what this puts out, so it's gonna let us see it a little bit better. Um, we can see right here that there's just a little little bit of fluctuation there, all right? Right at the fourth decimal. It's, it's nothing major, okay? and. We, we do have to see here that uh, a little LED is being lit up. We've got two, you know, two more little displays here. So, you know, it's, it's, it's possible that, you know, it's pulling a little bit, okay? But let's go ahead and plug in the actual power source here. Let's watch it rise. Is that plugged in? There we go. All right. So we can see here on the screen, I don't know if I can... 4.25345, it's it's going up pretty quick, okay? It's putting in almost an amp right now. Um, when it comes to charging a battery, you're applying a higher voltage than the battery currently has so that the, the actual energy will trickle into the battery, okay? And we can see here on the screen that it is going up. Now, so what, Justin? I know how to charge a battery. That's not even, it's not even that big a deal. Um, well, watch this. We're going to go ahead and unplug it here. We're going to watch it for a second gonna take a second to equalize and we'll see that it, it's slowly going down no big deal or anything but the one thing that we do see this is pretty steady okay 3.99 3.98 it's it's not really using that much it's just chilling here okay this is an old battery so I'm sure it does have some wear on it uh, but it's it's pretty stable Okay, now let's go ahead and take this other battery and let's see what happens when we charge and discharge that one. All right, so we are currently sitting on 3.90 and let's see if we can get a charge here. All right, we've got over an amp going in. It's putting in 4.25 volts right now. Um, and just to go over this again while we're letting this charge for a second here, um, a battery's operating voltage, and I have a whole video on operating voltage. You wanna check that out. I'll make sure I throw it in the description here so you guys can check that out. But every device has an operating voltage. This one, you're looking 3.7 for this battery. Um, so you can safely assume 3.7 is going to, you know, when you turn the phone on, it's going to show like, you know, between 1 and 5%, okay? And then when you get the battery up to about 4.2, 4.23, you're sitting right around 100%. It's very easy. You can do the math in between, and you could either use like a guide. Sometimes these things come with little guides with them. Sometimes they don't. Uh, but the math is pretty easy to figure out to say, hey, you know, if, if I pull this out and, you know, I'm at 3.97, I mean, 3.96 and you know we're sitting there then we probably are up oh, 3.95 then we can see where the battery is actually at at that point point. and you can see here on the uh on the voltage that we're continuing to drop 3.94 it's not really a good battery so the lesson i feel like we should be taking away from this today is you need to take some new batteries you need to plug them up you get one of these, get a get a regular multimeter, something like that. A regular multimeter, you can get it Sears for like 15 bucks. It's cheap. Amazon, 15, 20 bucks. Cheap, okay? Watch a couple of them. You need to build up your own internal repertoire of voltage drop knowledge, okay? So we can see here we're already at 3.93, okay? This thing has dropped quite a bit, and it's not really pulling that much current. So... In my mind, I say, hey, this is probably a bad battery. Now, did I hook this up to an expensive machine? Absolutely not. All I used was my basic multimeter and a basic battery activation board, and we are going down in voltage by the second, okay? Um, so with that being said, get one of these, get a multimeter, check it out. It's a really cheap, effective way to say, hey, you know, I'm gonna test the batteries that come in and I'm gonna hold my vendors accountable, but I'm also, gonna help my customers by giving them proper information and actually giving them a battery if they need it. Don't just swap it because they want it. 
swap it because they need it, okay? There's more than one test you can do. Anyway, I hope you learned something today. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and go on over there, hit subscribe, and make sure you hit that notification bell so that you know every single time that I put out a video. Don't forget, guys, if you're interested in any of the tools I use, check out the description below. I even have my own custom tools that I sell down there as well that literally do not exist anywhere else on the planet except from the art of repair. I also have a Patreon where you can help support the channel so I can create even better high quality content.